Okay, welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at movement vector and a little bit of velocity. Uh, velocity is basically just the motion of something, um, whether it be a block or entity. In Minecraft, it's an entity usually. Uh, blocks don't really have velocity unless it's gravity, I think. Uh, unless it has like gravity, maybe, I don't know. But um, gravity is completely separate from most, mostly. Uh, now, I have some uh, settings on here that I've basically worked out quickly. Uh, 0.5 will get you one block high. Um, now, this is for the movement vector, of course. Um, now, with uh, movement vector 1, we'll bring you up about four blocks high. And if you were to set it to 2, then it will bring you up to... I'm not sure how high that is, um, but it'll bring you up to this level, which is quite a bit jump from the other two. As you can see, that's there, that about doubled it, or maybe even tripled it, and then it was pretty much tripled it again, maybe. Um, so using that kind of example, the, where the white blocks are, are basically where the player will be landing, and that's a perfect example of what it does uh, we can do it too and we'll actually be able to jump up to that particular level um so yeah i mean you can basically just uh get things to auto fly or jump basically basically you're controlling the movement of the um the entity so what happened here was we just basically told the entity because it walked on the block to shoot up in the air with that particular amount of velocity. So, um, yeah, 2.0 is... So let's go into mCrater and I will show you basically the settings that... Um, a few settings that we can basically use for this particular uh, procedure block. So this is the procedure that I have uh, for when the block or when the entity basically walks on the block. So I have... Um, just a movement vector, uh, and then we've set the y direction to 2. You can also set this to a negative number, and then it will go the other direction. Uh, same thing goes for your x and z directions as well. Um, now, you can play around with it a little bit, and if we go into entity, and then if we scroll down to when we find velocity, uh, we can actually also add these particular things as well so we can set it so the entity will be going this with that amount of velocity this would basically allow um, it to continually um, well with this particular procedure but if you were to right click on it and you were say jumping upwards then what it would do is it would um, take that and basically multiply it and then continue increasing it on um, if it was on like an update tick or something like that if you were to right click an item and you were already falling then you're going to speed up your falling because of uh, the amount of um, because you're basically using this as uh, like to get the velocity that the player is already uh, using so if you're falling and it's already at say whatever the falling speed is then it's going to basically double that and then you're going to be falling even faster. Uh, if you were to say jump, then you could use this to basically jump and then um, it will also take in consideration how much the velocity the player is already moving. Same thing goes for the, um, the other X and Z directions. If they're walking a certain direction, you can actually right click and then it will basically give them a little speed boost uh, per se. Um, we can actually demonstrate this. I have a item that we can quickly make up. Uh, if we go to item, create an item, I'll quickly do this and then I'll hop back in. So to find your movement vector, uh, we need to scroll down a little bit until we reach um, the movement vector. It should be somewhere around here. It might change if the um, mCreditor organizes the procedure blocks a little bit, but this is basically what it will look like. And under the Entities tab again, uh, if we just grab our X position and, and or X, nope, not X position. What was I thinking? 
x velocity uh, velocity so if we go here and we'll grab the z one and the y velocity as well we can just replace these numbers with those uh, particular blocks so x y and z and then we're going to save that and then we're also going to use that for our uh, right click on block so we can basically get whatever uh, whatever we basically click on whether it be air or a block then we can basically get the entity to go the extra boost so this will only work if the entity is moving so if we quickly hop in game and then we will um, test this out so I've changed the code just a little bit because it wasn't working very efficiently. So what I've done is I've basically taken the um, uh, velocity of the entity and then I've multiplied that by two. So basically whatever speed that we're currently going at, if we right click, it's going to multiply it. It's going to actually double that speed that we're vanilla Minecraft uses. So every time we click, it's going to multiply it. So even if we are moving... Um, pretty fast it's going to multiply that so if we are in creative we can kind of just fly around and we can keep clicking until we speed up uh, really fast and then uh, we can come to a complete stop and go the other direction and as you can see we're like flying right through the entire world I don't even know where we are now uh, but uh, overall that's basically what it does it allows you to uh, speed up um, quite a bit and uh, that's pl just playing with velocity. So I just noticed that. Look at that. It's just kind of like a biome cutter error or something like that. But uh, yeah, basically that's what it does. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.